Hey, hi folks. Hi I'm, everyone. <laughs> I'm Tina Hoy with Follow Coin and I'm Jackson Palma with Dogecoin. The creator of Dogecoin and the Doge Father. Yeah. This is why I do this because it makes a much more interesting uh, conversation when you have to make people introduce themselves. Have you, have you noticed that people don't like doing that? <laughs> Sometimes. A little bit awkward. They say, actually, the number one thing that's hard for most people is talking about themselves. Unless you're an egomaniac. Thankfully, I'm not one of those. Yes. Jackson Palmer, everyone. <laughs> so here we are, live. As we promised, we're going to do live shows. Mm -hmm. And Jackson, geez, everyone's talking about Bitcoin Bowl. Bitcoin Bowl. It's on right now, I think. I don't know if the game's finished yet, but it's pretty crazy. We've got... ESPN, um, Warner, Brothers, Warner Brothers tweeting about it. Tweeting about it. If you tweeted Bitcoin Bowl, I think they were giving away free change to Bitcoin. Yep. If you tweeted the hashtag, you're getting free Bitcoin. I know Andreas is on there. I saw him tipping and stuff. So, yeah, pretty cool. We should. Hey, folks, did you guys tweet? We want to know how many Bitcoins was a Bitcoin Bowl worth? Yeah, that would be good to know, actually. Or bits, many bits. Yeah. How many? How many? <laughs> how many tips were given because of the Bitcoin Bowl? That would be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, I mean, Bitcoin Bowl is awesome since it's at least on ESPN. And it's actually being called a Bitcoin Bowl everywhere. TechCrunch uh, just published an article. I saw they did, Bowl. yeah. It's really interesting. It, like, it's probably, just like with Dogecoin and NASCAR, it's really a whole different kind of group of people who've never heard of what a Bitcoin is. So hopefully they'll understand now. Hopefully it was good for the ecosystem. Yeah. Lots of exposure. And it is funny, though, because I think the TechCrunch article's headline was something like, Bitcoin bowl is a thing and it's happening. Or it's something happening right incredulous. now. Yeah, a lot of people are like in disbelief. They're like, what? What's a Bitcoin? <laughs> but yeah, hopefully BitPay help get a lot of people into Bitcoin. Hopefully. Um, so you notice the green screen. We are in Follow Coins headquarters at the moment in San Francisco <laughs> and we're not going to edit it. We're not. We're not, not completely unscripted. We're trying to do that lately. It's, it's cool. going okay. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what else actually talking about tipping what is the doge tip miss all about doge tip miss uh, is a campaign run by doge tip bot who just launched twitter integration which is super cool so you can now go on to twitter and use the same doge that you're tipped on reddit on twitter so both across that and twitch as well and so leading up to christmas uh doge tip bot were doing this thing called doge tip miss where they ran a crazy absurd thing every day a way to award people some Dogecoin. So they had like trivia the other night and they had a whole bunch of questions you could answer and win. So that was really cool. Did you win any? I did actually, did I win any? No, I, I didn't. I think <laughs> I it would be, I, I think I... would be unfair. Yeah. Oh, that's true. You know everything, <laughs> don't you, about Doge? Yeah, I got a bit of an unfair advantage. That's true. I didn't play, well, mostly also because I'm kind of bad at trivia. Well, trivia is actually one of my fortes, I have to say. I'm not good at just random... Well, that's not true. I'm good at really random facts that nobody else knows, and I'm not good at... Well, that's kind of what trivia one. is about, but yeah. <laughs> Funny, here's a, here's a piece of trivia about trivia. I was... When, when the Jamaican bobsled thing happened, mm -hmm. and we, we hit our goal, I was actually at a trivia night. So, yeah. So my friend and I had to run back and sell like 50 bitcoins worth of doge to... That's Send awesome. some Jamaicans to the Olympics, yeah. That's more like a fun fact. It's a fun fact. It's a fun fact. It's a piece of trivia, though. Fun fact. But, okay, so the question is this. What were some of the trivia questions, do you know? Oh, there were all sorts of crazy ones. Like, all about, like, Dogecoin's history and, like, yeah. I think there were even some non-Doge ones in there as well. So, yeah, they were hard, actually. Hard yeah. Time. Well, it's Josh. Josh is always Josh Molland. Really interesting, hard mind. questions. <laughs> You're like, wait, I don't know that answer. Can we Google it? <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming a lot of people did, but yeah. Or you get to Wikipedia for it. You just, okay, I got the answer. Right? That's what I would do. But um, <laughs> that's okay. Well, what else is happening this week? Let's think. Uh, oh, Burning Man. Burning Man. Yeah. Burning Man. So. Burning I, Man started accepting Bitcoin. Not, not Dogecoin yeah. yet. Um, so hopefully. Oh, yet. Ho yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully they you know get their minds straight and, and start accepting Dogecoin because last year we had uh, the Dogecoin camp, which was a whole camp dedicated to Dogecoin. Was it called Dogeman? I think it was just called Dogecoin camp. It's actually funny. So the guy that organized it is from the Decentralized Dance Party, which is another crazy thing. Um, and he organized it, but one of the rules of getting in was that you had to pronounce it Doggy Coin and not Dogecoin. He's crazy, but 
They it didn't was, check with you on pronunciation. They didn't. They didn't check. With, I, I like yelled at. I by think the they way. Were, well. I think they were doing it just to kind of rebel. They were like, you know what? We 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 think it's doggy coin. We're gonna keep calling it doggy coin, even though the most common way is Doge. But. Well, that's nice. I mean, I still recall the, one of the first follow coin videos ever, and it was on Doge coin, and then we were calling it all these different variations of what could be Doge coin. Doge. Doge. I was calling it Doge. Doge for a while as well. You were calling it. Doge. I got it. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. Look either. at that. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And then people were like me. They were brutal on the YouTube comments. It's <laughs> this, you idiot. You're like, yikes. <laughs> it's doggy. No, that's that's <laughs> awesome though. That big, I mean, Burning Man's amazing. I don't yeah, know I've never guys. been. I'm hoping to go next year. Me too. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping this news and um, all the popularity of Burning Man doesn't mm. mean that ticket sales are as impossible as they were last year. Yeah, I had a bunch of friends who didn't get to go last year because of the tickets. So. I don't know. I think Adobe do one, so I might try and go with my corporate folks or something. What? Yeah. Okay, wait. Can you like get one extra maybe. ticket and then I'll pay for it and everything? I'll let you know. Yes! Yes! <laughs> you hear that? That's a positive maybe. We like positive maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, and then what are your? What are you doing for New Year's? I don't know what I'm doing for New Year's. Probably some crazy party. Whatever sounds like the most fun. But um, I'm looking forward to 2015. It's been a pretty eventful 2014. So. Uh, yeah, looking forward to kicking out with the crypto folks in 2015 as well. Me too. Well, follow coin definitely is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those coin definitely is. And I think, I mean, things are innovating and improving, so that's neat. Yeah, 2015 is going to be the year that Bitcoin needs to, like, get, like, huge mainstream adoption and, like, go to the next level. So it's going to be a very interesting year. I'm really liking that Microsoft is accepting Bitcoin now, though. It's super cool. It legitimizes it to a certain extent and um, it gets it in front of a whole bunch of people that it might not have been in front of before. So yeah, I think 2015 will be the year we get regulation, mainstream adoption, and if it's really gonna take off, it'll take off. Ben Mosky did say it's gonna be January when yeah. the bit license comes out. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it is. I mean, transitional bit license is a pretty neat um, development. Yeah. He was actually telling everybody that he's excited digital currencies around, or that's what supposedly this one is. He is, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think a lot of people in the financial sector like aren't like, we hate Bitcoin, we hate digital currency. It's more just like, we don't know what this is and how it works. We're using technology that was made 20 years ago. And slow down, like slow down and let us figure out what it is before we you ask us to make laws about it. So, yeah. And it is right for a little bit of innovation and change. Sure, absolutely. They want, like all the banks, they want to be able to offer better services, right? So, because they can charge for those services. Just like, you know, the bit pays of the world have come out and now guess what? They're charging for their services. They aren't giving away their merchant services for free. Um, and so like, just like that, banks are like, well, we want in on that. So it'll happen. Right. Well, I mean, you know, but it's gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a fun year. We're gonna, gonna have lots exciting. of great events too. Yeah. Actually, we could tease a few of them. Okay. Summer soiree. Summer soiree. I'll be there. We'll have some. Yes, All he's gonna be up. there. Yeah. White. Everyone's gotta wear white. It's a white party. I don't know why I like that. <laughs> then we'll have a charity element. Maybe some food and wine tasting. If I could, mm -hmm. maybe if we could plan it. We're not gonna Sounds commit. Good. No promises, but we're trying, and we'll see what happens. But it's gonna be awesome. Sometime in the summer, mm -hmm. in here in the Bay Area. Um, and I'll be there dancing. We're all gonna dance. This one's not gonna be as serious. It's gonna be really silly things like best dressed and. Weirdest, um, most crazily dressed, or cra we should do crazy dress. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna take everybody has to. What I want is everybody to. I'm gonna make a master spreadsheet, and people have to just like the nominations last time, but prettier now that we yeah. discovered type form. Um, and basically just have everybody tell us what all of their favorite categories would be. Like, yeah, you know, some people are like, what about sexiest CEO? And I'm like, oh, okay, or <laughs> best wow, dress, we win that. or I have no idea. <laughs> and then, but then it's like, should we have a male and female category? Or do you think Bitcoin has evolved enough for it to be both? Probably not. So then people are like, so do sexiest men and women? And like, you know, it'll mm. be interesting. Some category. I look forward to it. It's going to yeah. be interesting. We'll do a yearbook. Yes, the yearbook will be awesome. I, I'm already starting to think up my quote. You the gave yearbook. a great idea. Yeah, yeah. You were like, you should. We, so everybody has to figure out what their favorite quotes are. So you're going to have a yearbook now, I guess. It's going to be awesome. It'll be, you'll have a photo, you'll have your quote, and then you'll have your Bitcoin address. And, oh, that would be great. Right? And, and then we could do digital. It'll be like a little QR code or something, right? Yeah, and we're going to host it digitally too. There, cool. that, just come into that. My team's going to come. Ideas. They're going to come. Awesome. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for all the work, lady. But um, well, we're busy at Follow the Coin. You guys are busy, so I mean, I think everybody's insanely busy with family and holidays. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, happy holiday season, everybody. Happy holidays. I hope everybody has a great New Year's. Yeah. Yeah. Happy New Year. Find a great party in your location. Yes. Are you guys gonna do anything like a New Year's Doge thing? Why well, not? We already did the Doge Miss kind of. Well, we did the doge anniversary, which was you know only a couple weeks ago so. it is really crazy every week in bitcoin actually does there's always an event year. right so i'm sure there'll be an event i'm sure somewhere somebody will be having some sort of bitcoin powered thing where a lot of people drink so maybe that's where i'll go we'll see there you go yeah. uh, we're in vegas you can come to vegas there's some boost Yikes. people there it sounds dangerous <laughs> we're all going to vegas so that's where we will be and then it's gonna be cool. CES. And the Miami Bitcoin Conference, which is going to be awesome as well mm -hmm. later in the year. And then also O'Reilly Media is doing a summit, the yeah, Radar Summit, yeah. on Bitcoin. I hear that's the Bitcoin Conference to be at. So. Yeah. Are you, you going? I might. I don't know. I've got to try and get a pass somehow. I'm not sure if it's sold out or not, but we'll see. If anybody's we'll listening. If anyone's listening, he needs a pass. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're working the event, so we get a pass. But that's work. All right. I'll just have to work for Follow the Coin. Easy. There. You could come and help us yeah. interview people. Yeah. What do you really think? What about Dogecoin? <laughs> I can imagine it now. Look at all the dark every, secrets. Every few seconds, you're like, what do you think about Dogecoin? <laughs> yeah. That's it. I'll go around with the camera and just like get all the all the gossip from the floor. Yeah. Okay, great. You're hired. There. Done. Press pass. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, awesome. guys. And thank you, Jackson, for being on the show Absolutely. in 2014. And hopefully again in 2015. Yeah. It's been awesome 2015. Awesome. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a good evening. Bye.